Hey everyone, just a couple of days ago Universal posted this magical video of their new theme park, Epic Universe, coming in 2025. This is an expansion to Universal's Orlando property and this will be its third park in that complex. Join me as I talk about the rides, things I'm most looking forward to, and some issues I think could come up once this park opens. Before I cover those topics, here's some background info about the park. Epic Universe was announced in 2019 and has been under construction ever since. There will be an on-site hotel as well as five distinct lands, all separated by special portals. Those five lands are Super Nintendo World, How to Train Your Dragon, Dark Universe, Celestial Park, and of course the amazing world of Harry Potter. Now that I've gotten that out of the way, let's go over the rides. I'm going to do this section by section, starting with Celestial Park. There are going to be three main attractions, Constellation Carousel, Astronomica, a fun fountain, and the ride I'm most excited for, Starfall Racers. The Carousel and Water Fountain aren't out of this world amazing or original, but the Dulmach Multi-Launch Coaster seems world-class. Moving on to How to Train Your Dragon, Isle of Burke, which is the first of its kind themed land. There are not any official rides yet. However, I have a feeling we're going to see some sort of flight simulator or a cool ride with dragon animatronics. Also a first of its kind land, Dark Universe, which will be themed around Universal Studios' iconic horror characters. There's rumors for a high-tech flat ride called Frankenstein's Manor, which I hope uses the new trackless technology because those dark rides are awesome. The fourth world is the next chapter, so to speak, in the wizarding world of Harry Potter. Here, you'll find a ride so amazing and perfect that the Epic Universe announcement video kept it a surprise. Hell no, man. What the fuck, man? Get your ass on. Oof. Because of that, my expectations are now way higher. Hopping into the final portal will arrive at the popular Super Nintendo world, equipped with familiar rides such as Yoshi's Adventures and Koopa's Challenge, and a brand new ride, Donkey Kong Minecart Coaster. The technology this coaster will use will make it appear that you're jumping tracks, hopefully adding a new sensation to the ride. I think the lineup is very strong, however, an issue I have with it is how few attractions they'll have opening year. And yes, I know many new theme parks start small, but as a massive new universal park, I feel that the total capacity for all these rides will not be good enough to support the possible millions of people coming to this park in 2025. Now, as for some things I'm excited about, Starfall Racers and Dark Universe. Starfall Racers does seem to be a bit on the tame side, but the layout looks long and exciting. I think it will be a good headliner for the park, and the racing aspect is also very fun. I think no matter the intensity, the Universal theming will make this a top 10 ride at the Orlando Resort, and Dark Universe just looks wow. I think the rides, the theming, and the atmosphere are going to be super great. Now this might be a stretch, but I think Dark Universe might be better than the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. What if there's an indoor coaster that's like Revenge of the Mummy but on steroids? There are so many things Universal can do right with this land and I can't wait for it to open. So those are the main things I'm excited about, and I'd love it if you commented on what you're excited about coming to Epic Universe. Every brand new theme park has problems, right? So what are some issues I suspect Epic Universe to have the first couple of years it's open? Well, mainly crowds. Orlando is one of the biggest tourist destinations in the US, so anyone already going to Disney or the other Universal parks is going to see signs for a new theme park and want to go since they're nearby. Also, crowd flow might be an issue, especially through the portals. This makes me wonder if they'll have some sort of one-way policy to avoid traffic jams. I've previously mentioned this, but due to the lack of quantity of rides, the total hourly capacity of this park is going to suck at first. However, I'm sure the designers of Epic Universe have thought of my criticisms and have everything planned out. Wrapping up the video, I think Epic Universe is going to be a solid theme park and I'm very excited for the new rides and what the future holds for this expansion to the Universal Resort. I think it has the potential to be the best park in Orlando. And I am. If you like this video, please consider liking slash subscribing. I would appreciate that a lot. And I hope you have a great day.